My wife plays the harp. She has two of them. They're beautiful instruments, but they're also kind of heavy. So for her birthday, I decided to get her a harp dolly. That's a sort of hand truck for toting your harps around. So I googled it and holy cats, those things are expensive. I mean, it's only a fraction of the cost of a harp, but it's the principle of the matter. I don't want to pay eight times what something is worth. So I bought a hand truck. Then I cut up a cardboard box and traced the bottom silhouettes of the two harps. <laughs> it looks like cardboard versions of the classic arcade game Frogger. My plan was to fuse the two silhouettes together to make a union silhouette, then build a harp dolly that could work with either harp. So next I measured the slope that my base platform would need to make the sound box align with my hand truck. To do that, I very carefully set the harp on two boards, then adjusted my spacer until the back of the harp was parallel with the hand truck. The rolled up blanket in front kept the harp from sliding down the ramp, and the one I placed on the top provided a little weight to prevent it from tipping forward. Then I measured the rise and the run of the triangle that this formed beneath the harp. Unfortunately, it turned out that the two harps had different angles. So I had to pivot. I decided to just make a dolly for one of the harps. If my wife liked it, then maybe she'll ask me to make another one for her, and then I'll score two birthday presents with one idea. So a little math and some carpentry later, I had a platform that would hold the harp at the perfect angle. Okay, it was actually quite a lot of math and like two full days of carpentry, but never rush an engineering project. So for padding, I glued some black foam to my platform. I actually got my foam from an old Dance Dance Revolution pad I had laying in my attic. You can get similar foam from floor tiles used in children's playrooms. Next, I took a black pillowcase and I sewed right down the center. This made two compartments of perfect size for holding rolls of paper towels. These serve two purposes. First, they give the harp something soft to rest against and protect it from the metal hand truck. Second, I imagine the wheels might get dirty, especially on rainy days, so I think it might be handy to always have paper towels along with the harp. I used two elastic straps to secure the harp to the dolly. These store nicely in the pillowcase with the paper towels. And the whole system is pretty easy to assemble or disassemble as needed to fit in the car. Finally, I spray painted the hand truck and then applied some wood stain to my platform. In the end, I think it turned out pretty nice.